There are literally dozens and dozens of showbiz people that could have been here tonight. We just had a cross-section of them, but there is one person who very much wanted to be here above anything else. Couldn't make it. We have this special message. Hello, Howard. This is Kerry speaking to you from the Opera House at Melbourne. And I'm very sorry that I can't be with you this evening on this very special occasion. The people of New Zealand honouring their leader, their Maori leader, in the high achievement of all the things you've done for youth, for entertainment, goodness of life, while keeping your family around you and very close to you, Kahu, your mother, who I believe is quite a showpiece at the end of your performances, your wonderful wife, Kuya, and all those people there who must be enjoying your stardom, your celebrity tonight. You, of all people, deserve it. It's a wonderful experience. Uh, it must be quite frightening to suddenly find all those people coming from out of the woodwork, uh, people you haven't seen maybe in a few years. And during my youth, I must say that you were a great inspiration to me. You were a much loved person, um, a glorious God. We all looked at, at you as this absolute God because you, you are also very handsome, even now with white hair. <laughs> and I hope that life for you is as good as it has been so far because you have been a wonderful inspiration for all youth while selflessly going about your duties as a human being. I thank you and I thank you for allowing us to watch you in your goodness. Our special thanks to Dame Kiri Takanawa. Thank you. After the break, we continue with the Howard Morrison story.